Blue Ribbon Committee on Governance. Final Report. 2. Mr. Darnell Erlay. Emergency Manager City of Flint. July 2014 Mr. Darnell Erlay, Emergency Manager City of Flint 1101 S. Saginaw St. Flint, ML 48502 June 30, 2014 Dear Mr. Erlay, less than six months ago, you issued a charge to a group of 22 individuals to develop recommendations on how the City of Flint might strengthen its governance in order to avoid the possibility of a return to fiscal crisis. We all came to the table willing to do the hard work of studying, learning, exploring, and debating the structures, policies and practices that helped Flint get to its current financial difficulties, and the changes that could help us prevent a return to that state. We made the determination early on in our process to operate by consensus, so the recommendations contained in this report convey the carefully considered opinions of few whole. Members of the Blue Ribbon Committee came to this process with different perceptions and thoughts, and we took the time necessary to talk through points of contention. While any of us could have drafted recommendations on our own, we feel this process has enabled us to craft a report that is more balanced and well-rounded than could have been achieved otherwise. After reviewing hundreds of pages of reports on municipal governance models and financial practices, hearing from people with pertinent expertise from inside City Hall and outside of the community, and holding three community workshops, we are delivering our final report of recommendations to you. We hope that it will prove a useful lens for understanding some of the complex governance challenges that Flint faces, as well as point a way forward for us to enjoy greater accountability and stability in our local government. It has been a pleasure to serve. Obert Wesley, Chair Blue Ribbon Committee on Governance of the City of Flint Staff Paper 2014 Flint Blue Ribbon Committee Final Report Eric A. Scorsone and Mary Doidge on behalf of the Flint Blue Ribbon Committee Staff Paper 2014-02 July, 2014 Department of Agricultural Economics Michigan State University East Lansing Michigan 48,824 MSU is an affirmative action equal opportunity institution page 1 2014 Flint Blue Ribbon Committee Eric A. Scorson and Mary Doidge on behalf of Flint BRC SCORSONE at MSU.edu this staff paper contains the findings of the Flint Blue Ribbon Committee. Page 2 Executive Summary from January 2014 through June 2014, the Flint Blue Ribbon Committee on Governance Reform met to address the issue of changes to governance in the city of Flint, Michigan in response to the ongoing fiscal crisis facing city government. The C that it believed would lead to improved long-term fiscal health and fiscal stability for city government. These recommendations reflect a consensus of the group. A summary of the recommendations is as follows. Shifting to a hybrid form of council manager government with an elected mayor and an appointed city manager or consideration of the city council system by a charter commission ongoing training for all city council members city appointed officials report to and are hired by the city manager, with the exception of the city attorney and city clerk elimination of the civil service commission and removal of from charter of ombudsman office adoption of multi-year budgeting, strategic planning and long-term financial forecasts the Blue Ribbon Committee puts forward these recommendations in order to accomplish the objectives of long-term fiscal stability for Flint City Government. These recommendations are believed to be essential in ensuring the ongoing success of home rule city government. Page 3 Blue Ribbon Committee Members Mr. Robert Wesley Committee Chairman Ms. Betsy Adderholt Mr. Carl Bekowski Commissioner Brenda Clack Drive John Daly Rev. Henry Fuller Mr. Charles Graham Ms. Rena Griffel Mr. Timothy Herman Mr. Robert Jackson Resigned 032914 Ms. Elizabeth Jordan Ms. Sally Kagerer Ms. Diana Kelly Mr. Edward Kurtz Drive Robert McMahon Drive Bobby Muckamala Councilman Brian Nolden Ms. Vera Perry Drive Albert Price Mr. James Richardson Drive I. Ray Rutherford, Mr. David Solis, Mayor Dane Walling. Page 4 Introduction The following document contains a series of recommendations developed Committee on Governance Reform. In January 2014, following the appointment of two sets of emergency managers since 2001, 
convened 22 people to serve on the Blue Ribbon Committee to recommend potential changes to governance and operational structure that will be more fiscally sustainable and contribute to an improved long-term outlook for city finances. The committee is proposing several reforms we believe to be crucial for the future stability of city finances. The role of the committee is to financial difficulties, as well as to make recommendations to the emergency manager about changes to governance structure and practices that could improve financial stability. The committee should not be confused with the Transition Advisory Board, a completely separate body that will be convened prior to the return of Flint to local control under Public Act 436, the Emergency Manager Law. Nor is the committee a Charter Review Commission, a formal body that drafts a new city charter decided by referendum. This report will be delivered to the emergency manager and made available to the public. No committee members are paid by the City of Flint for their time, nor are any content experts who provide educational assistance to the committee on technical aspects of municipal finances or governance options. Of the 22 people on the committee, all but three live in the city of Flint. Page 5 The committee met a total of eight times between January and June 2014. Several of these meetings were held as study sessions with presentations from governance and financial experts. Dr. Eric Scorsone, a Michigan State University Extension Specialist and Professor of Agricultural Economics at MSU, provided a statewide view of financial pressures on Michigan cities. David Lee Marty, International City County Management Association, ICMA, Director of the Midwest Regional Office, presented governance models used in cities across the United States. Also, from the City of Flint, Finance Director Gerald Ambrose and City Attorney Peter Bay detailed the City of Flint financial condition and current charter requirements. Committee members also studied reference materials including Home Rule Act 279 of 1909 Local Financial Stability and Choice Act 436 of 2012 National Civic League Model City Charter, 8th edition, 2003 Flint City Charter 1974, with amendments prior to drafting this report. The committee held three community meetings to share what it learned about how governance relates to municipal finances and to take in public comments and ideas related to the topic. Each meeting was held in a workshop-style format run by a facilitator, with an average of 40 participants at each gathering. The contributions from members of the public are an invaluable piece of this report and a copy of comments received is attached as an appendix. Page 6 Recommendations of the Flint Blue Ribbon Committee Long-Term Sustainability The big picture This first category of recommendations relates to reforms designed to move the city of Flint toward long-term fiscal sustainability. It includes ideas on the form of government and associated provisions most likely to position Flint for success, addressing challenges posed by S form of government. Charter an elected council and mayor have responsibility for setting policy. Under the strong mayor form of government, the mayor also is charged with policy implementation and managing the day-to-day -day operations through 21 appointees who serve at the There are three challenges with this current system that contribute to financial instability. They are 1. 2. Reporting structure. Once appointed, senior city officials with the exception of the treasurer, clerk, assessor, and including the city administrator, who has broad responsibility for the daily oversight of a multi-million dollar city budget serve at the pleasure of the mayor and report only to the council through the mayor. When the mayor and council do not have a smooth working relationship which has been often the city council may not have access to the timely information needed to make effective policy choices and respond to changing economic realities. While the council does have the power to subpoena witnesses, including the city administrator, this is not an efficient way to obtain necessary information. Qualifications there are no qualifications in the Charter that are required to serve as any of the mayoral appointees. Few of the appointees chosen since the current Charter. Page 73. 
was adopted in 1974 had the training and expertise in municipal finances that would have enabled them to manage the complicated budgeting and compliance procedures that must be in place. On more than one occasion, mayors have appointed political friends or campaign managers to this key position despite not having the skills needed to carry out the job. Information, because the city administrator, department heads, and other mayoral appointees serve solely at the pleasure of the mayor, they may overlook financial information or performance inadequacies that would be politically inconvenient. Naturally, employees may feel pressure to downplay sobering information or risk losing their jobs. This prevents the public and city decision makers from accurately understanding financial position and making timely, informed choices. As such, we recommend that the city of Flint current strong mayor form of government, in which the mayor is ultimately responsible for the day-to-day -day management of City Hall, to a hybrid form of government in which the mayor is a voting member of City Council, a city manager appoints department heads and manages city operations. This will encourage greater collaboration between the mayor and the city council and separate policy development, which is the purview of elected officials and implementation, to be carried out by a professional, competent, and trained staff. Such a structure will enable the government to be run efficiently and effectively. The rationale for the change of government and the role of specific individuals will be discussed in greater detail below. A summary of the positions of city manager, mayor, and city council members under the proposed government form change is as follows. City manager appointed by and reports to the elected city council. Page 80 chosen through a nationwide search ICMA credential manager designation recommended responsible for hiring, firing, and managing all city staff including the city treasurer, assessor, and all department heads, with the exception of the city attorney and city clerk O selects department heads based on education and relevant experience O conducts annual performance reviews of department heads recommends candidates for city attorney and city clerk delivers annual budget message mayor full-time employee of the city of Flint with appropriate fringe benefits runs citywide as mayor who will sit on the city council acts as a policy leader and a ceremonial designee for the city of Flint sits as president of city council votes on council matters delivers state of the city address annually city council part-time employees without fringe benefits owed not involved in day-to-day -day operations of city hall meets deliberates potential policies gathers information from citizens and moves forward on the passage of police is important to the city confirms appointments of city manager, city attorney and city clerk by two-thirds majority. The city manager would be appointed by and report to all of the elected officials, the mayor and city council. The position of city manager is designed to ensure that a professionally trained official is placed in charge of implementing the policy as pronounced by the legislative body of the city government. A professionally trained manager, adhering to the code of ethics of the profession, will provide clear and accurate information concerning finances and operations allowing policymakers to make informed decisions. Too often in Flint, a lack of information was a clear cause of financial stress for city policymakers. The city manager will have the technical competence in budgeting and administration necessary to expertly deal with changes in the economy and state policy. We also recommend a change in the form of government in an effort to address the frequently adversarial relationship between the administration and legislative branch that has page 9 been manifest with the mayoral form of government currently in place. A hybrid model, with an elected mayor, would promote cooperative working relationships focused on effective policy. Cities with council manager governments have been shown to report greater cooperation and less conflict than those with strong mayor governments, Nelson and Nallendurger, 2011. It preserves the voice of the people in setting policy while ensuring competent administration and carrying out those decisions. By reporting to the council, including the mayor, the city manager would be more broadly accountable than if he or she were to report to the mayor alone. Provisions will be necessary for all appointed positions to ensure accountability without undue political influence. The mayor would sit as the president of the city council, 
voting on council matters, and act as policy leader and ceremonial designee for the city of Flint, rather than being selected by city council from among their members as is the case in many council manager governments. We recommend a hybrid in which the mayor runs for what is elected to that position by voters. While the mayor may have public events, meetings, and other duties that require attention throughout the day, the rest of the council will have a role that does not require involvement in day-to-day -day operations. The city council may will be to meet, carefully deliberate potential policies, gather information from citizens and move forward on the passage of police is important to the city. We recommend that the mayor be a full-time employee of the city of Flint, with appropriate fringe benefits and council members be part-time employees, without fringe benefits. The local officials' compensation commission is advised to consider appropriate compensation for the roles of the elected officials. Council member compensation should not be so high as to eclipse a desire for public service as the chief motivation for running for the position. Page 10 State Policy Environment Flint should enact local changes to governance structure and policies to strengthen and improve effectiveness and accountability. At the same time, the committee believes that Flint could become optimally efficient and would still face financial difficulties unless changes are made at the state level to create a stable base for municipal funding. It is therefore recommended that, where possible, the city should identify and promote changes to state policy that would create a more stable basis for city funding in Michigan. Strategic Alignment the committee recommends that the city of Flint take a proactive approach to aligning its operations with its identified priorities and anticipated financial conditions. It is necessary that the city track its progress on an ongoing basis in order to improve its performance. The committee recommends that the city develop a three to five year strategic plan aligned with its master plan and financial forecast. The strategic plan will be used to set departmental expectations and monitor results. Professional City Management As the Chief Administrative Officer Tsao, of the City of Flint, the City Manager must have excellent credentials and the needed skill set to manage the complex operations of the City. The Model Charter, National Civic League Model City Charter, 8th edition, 2003 provides a recommended charter language to ensure that this can be accomplished. The recommended language provides flexibility for changing conditions but also is clear about necessary qualifications. We recommend that the city manager be chosen through a nationwide search. Education and experience and accepted competencies and practices of local government. Page 11 management should be the criteria used to determine eligible candidates. International City County Management Association ICMA membership and certification as an ICMA credentialed manager ICMA CM is also highly recommended. The International City County Management Association is an organization of local members must pledge in order to strengthen democratic local governance. Members must also adhere to the have violated this code of ethics, he or she must undergo a review process by other members of the ICMA. There is evidence that a city manager position is needed to ensure fiscal stability and sustainability for the city of Flint. In a study of the 46 largest American cities, municipalities with a city manager were found to provide services more efficiently than those with mayor council forms of government, more et al. 2005. Similarly, a study of 100 American cities government, with municipalities with council manager governments almost 10% more efficient than those with strong mayor governments, Edwards, 2011. The city of Flint has a history of rapid turnover in key positions, and the resulting loss of institutional memory has had its administration. In an attempt to address this, we recommend that the city manager be selected by a supermajority, two-thirds vote of city council members, and that a two-thirds majority of the council also be required to page 12 remove him or her. Requiring a supermajority for the appointment or removal of a city manager means that the candidate must have the confidence of a large number of council members, and that she or he cannot be removed without justification. Another key issue is the relationship between department heads and elected officials.
the proposed City of Flint City Manager will be responsible for hiring all City staff including the City Treasurer, Assessor, and all Department Heads, with the exception of the City Attorney and City Clerk, which will be discussed later. This addresses the need for clear lines of legislative and executive responsibilities to be drawn, ensuring that Council is not involved in the day-to-day -day management and operation of the City. Additionally, by putting the responsibility for hiring and managing staff in the hands of the City Manager rather than City Council, Department heads are insulated from undue political influence. Furthermore, by making these positions part of the technical management of the city rather than subject to political appointments, candidates can be chosen purely on the basis of their qualifications and keep or lose their jobs on the basis of performance, rather than changes in political leadership. These changes will improve the likelihood of professional competence, retention of institutional memory, and sound financial decision-making in the City of Flint. Another critical staff role is that of the City Attorney. Daily administrative activities that require close work with the City Manager. He or she also serves as legal counsel for the City Council. As such, an effective City Attorney must have the confidence of both the executive and the legislative branches of government. Therefore, we propose that the city attorney be recommended by the city manager and confirmed by the city council and be removed by the same procedures. Currently, the city attorney and all other department page 13 heads, with the exception of the city clerk, is appointed by and serves at the pleasure of the mayor. Selecting department heads based on competence and providing performance reviews are basic good practices to ensure departmental leadership is strong and accountable. The City of Flint has not had a process for conducting employee reviews. We recommend that department heads be selected by the city manager based on their education and relevant experience. Department heads should receive annual performance reviews. Departments are reorganized from time to time and using ordinances instead of the charter to define the departmental structure provides the needed flexibility. We recommend that reference to specific departments be removed from the charter and handled through specific ordinances. Primary policy and administrative leaders must convey important information to the public in order to be accountable to residents and to provide them with knowledge necessary to be more informed voters. We recommend that the mayor continue to deliver the State of the City address annually and that the city manager delivers the budget message annually to describe in plain language. Again, the basic concept behind this revision is to emphasize the roles of various offices in city government. The mayor's speech should focus on broad priorities and policies while the city manager should focus on the budget proposal and implementation of city policies via the budget. Electoral representation election of council members by wards helps to ensure that citizens from diverse areas have equal representation in city government. This is especially important in communities with significant geographical and social diversity such as Flint. Conversely, because the decisions of page 14 each city council member affect the well-being of the entire community, we also find value in having a structure that encourages broader accountability for elected leaders. Without recommending a single mechanism for striking this balance, we recommend further exploration of a system that combines some form of at large and ward representation to honor both of these priorities. As an example of one method of achieving this, a Charter Revision Commission could consider a system in which candidates are nominated by ward in a primary with all residents voting on the final choices from all the wards. Other methods could include changing the number of wards to allow for some at-large members of council. Either of these strategies might help to promote consensus building decisions that take the city as a whole into consideration. In any case, we suggest that the mayor run as an at-large member of city council. Another aspect of elected representation is the total number of city council members. Currently, all nine members are elected by ward. Since the existing charter was adopted 40 years ago, Flint's population has fallen significantly so that the average council member currently represents far fewer citizens. In some cases, a candidate might win election with fewer than 500 votes. Therefore, 
reducing the number of wards is recommended. However, because decisions about elected representation are so critical, we believe further public engagement should be used to develop additional recommendations on city council composition and elections. All council members should receive ongoing training and development in areas such as finance, ethics, and governance. We believe that the best way to hold city council members accountable, including for ethical issues that are not considered criminal activity is through page 15 elections. More frequent elections for city council would enable swifter accountability for ethical violations or unsatisfactory performance. The committee thus recommends that the terms of city council members be reduced to two years. In addition, we recommend that the elections be held in even numbered years. By holding elections to coincide with presidential and gubernatorial cycles, we hope Flint can boost voter turnout. A study of municipalities in California supports this hypothesis, Hagenal and Lewis, 2003. The mayor provides a level of continuity in policy leadership and we therefore recommend that the term of the mayor remain at four years. Involvement of the public in local government is one of the core values of the city's master plan. This can be achieved through consistency in practice. City operations can be more efficient when public involvement is channeled in ways that facilitate constructive participation in open, two-way communication. This is a refrain we heard echoed in the community workshops. The committee recommends that the suggestions for ongoing civic involvement from the master plan be implemented, such as an annual summit to report on the progress and to receive input from the residents of Flint. It is also recommended that a public participation plan to institutionalize practices for involving community members in city planning and decision making be considered. Operational efficiency as it is currently in the city's charter, it is necessary for the office of the ombudsman to be staffed. This is required even in times of financial stress, when residents may wish funds be diverted to other funds, such as those for public safety. Removing the ombudsman office from the charter and instead addressing its functions through an ordinance would grant greater page 16 flexibility. This is in keeping with the earlier recommendation to delete references to specific departments in the charter and instead identify departments and ordinances. Removal of the Office of City Ombudsman could be done through the charter amendment process. We acknowledge the need to provide resident assistance services, but not necessarily the Office of Ombudsman. We reference the November 2, 2009 League of Women Voters of the Flint Area Review of the Flint City Charter that recommends replacing the Ombudsman with a police commission, a citizen's advisory board, or combine this function with the Standards of Conduct Board. Other suggestions include using the Human Relations Commission as a point of assistance for citizens, and the Master Plan's recommendation to create an advisory board through the Police Department. Because several boards and commissions in the city charter are currently defunct, we recommend that only those required by state law, such as the Planning Commission and the Zoning Board of Appeals, remain in the charter, and that others be enacted by ordinances required. This allows flexibility for the city council to adapt as necessary. This will reduce some governmental costs and the amount of time spent staffing certain boards and commissions by city employees. Affirming the high ethical standards in the Charter is important to ensure sound decisions for the City of Flint. Though a mechanism for addressing certain ethical lapses already exists in the Charter, it is not being used to its full capacity. The Standards of Conduct Board is inactive. The ability to punish elected officials for misdeeds other than criminal violations is limited, and is best addressed through the electoral process, as mentioned above. However, we believe the Standards of Conduct Board can play a role carrying out local ethics ordinances. Therefore, we recommend that the Standards of Conduct Board be reconvened to enforce the Ethical Standards page 17 for public officials and that existing ethics ordinances should be reviewed and updated if necessary. Policy Administration The Master Plan should serve as the common vision for the city, and the city budget is an important step in making that vision a reality. Too often, the master plan and city budget do not strive to reach the same goal and the decisions made on the budget do not match up with where city. With such a disconnect, 
it is unlikely that the master plan can truly serve as an effective tool. Moreover, to be effective, the master plan must be current. We plan to use to guide spending priorities and should be updated according to state law, which currently requires the plan to be updated every five years. The charter should be amended to include this requirement. Even after the current fiscal crisis abates, we know that the city of Flint will face a recession again in the future. Establishing a rainy day fund will help the city avoid disastrous budget cuts when that occurs. For this reason, the committee recommends that a rainy day fund be created consistent with S Charter, including the language limiting the purposes for which this fund can be used. Patching holes in the budget for ongoing expenses through short-term fixes contributes to uncertainty and instability. One-time or short-term revenue sources should generally be used for debt retirement, capital investments, or be put into the rainy day fund, and not be used to fund ongoing operations. The same procedure should be followed for grants, which should be viewed as short-term revenue and therefore not used to fund day-to-day -day operations of the city. This should be addressed by enacting a policy to this effect. Page 18 Multi-Year Budgeting and Projections Help Identify Future Implications of Expenditures and Revenues This prevents the potential for shifting income and expenses to mask imbalances, which exist with single-year budgeting. We recommend that the city use three-year budgeting and project revenues a minimum of five years into the future. When the multi-year budget is adopted, only spending in year one is approved. Years two and three should be considered estimates. The city manager and city council should review the budget at least quarterly and amend it if needed. This should be implemented by a charter amendment. For example, Los Angeles County has implemented many of these reforms resulting in some important fiscal improvements for the county. Reforms adopted included adoption of three-year strategic planning processes, only budgeting for capital projects if a revenue source has been identified, adopting a results-oriented budgeting process, not using one-time money for open-ended commitments, maintaining a significant rainy day fund and using a multi-year budget. These reforms helped eliminate an $800 million deficit the county was facing and the case demonstrates the success that is possible with these policy reforms, Pirzano, 2012. There are other examples to help bolster the case for why these types of reforms may provide an important pathway for the city of Flint. Yolo County in California is another example of a local government that adopted important reforms in the face of the Great Recession in order to stave off financial difficulties. They adopted a new financial sustainability framework. The framework included a continuous planning cycle, rigorously tracking the metrics on a regular basis, ensuring that key personnel had specific responsibilities to implement adopting the multi-year budgeting model and ensuring top leadership support at all times. With this framework, the county has been successful in navigating through the recession to maintain fiscal stability, New Orleans, 2013. Page 19 in 2008, Chester County, Pennsylvania adopted a new model to incorporate strategic planning and performance metrics to ensure fiscal stability. The model included the county commission adopting a strategic plan, a statistically based citizen survey, departmental strategic plans and performance metrics. Activity-based budgeting was adopted by all departments, although it required several years of testing and data collection to put all the pieces in place. Officials and residents at the beginning of each budget year. On a quarterly basis. The information in the annual report is monitored and discussed by department heads and the executive branch. The county has seen significant monetary and strategic benefits from this approach including maintaining a AAA credit rating. The rating agencies specifically identified the strategic planning and performance metrics in their report, Phillips, 2013. These examples point to the types of reforms that the city of Flint needs to adopt in order to ensure progress toward a fiscally sustainable future. Each local government has found in its circumstances that specific reforms may play out in different ways in order to achieve success. That said, 
The general themes include a strategic planning focus, changes to the budging process with a focus on results and priorities, adoption of performance metrics and new financial policies adopted and monitored. Each part of the organization, from the executive and legislative branches, plays a critical role in ensuring the success of these types of reforms. Next steps The committee recommends that immediate steps be taken to implement these recommendations in order for the City of Flint to successfully transition out of emergency management oversight. The recommendation to change the form of government to a council page 20 manager hybrid design should be pursued through a charter commission. We recommend putting this on the November 2014 ballot. We recognize that the work and approval of a new charter can be a long process. Therefore, we recommend that several charter amendments be placed on the November 2014 ballot. These include reduction of the number of mayoral appointees, see below, removal of the civil service section, removal of the ombudsman section, removal of city department requirements, align specified city department heads to align with current structure, or reduce number of mayoral appointees to number necessary for current operations, amend the budget section of city charter to include best practice provisions above, borrow from the model charter so that this is about principles, not the specifics that need to be in ordinance, city department head and executive staff appointment and qualifications, hiring and termination requirements should be detailed in new ordinances. Attention must be paid to the city administrator and finance director positions in particular to provide civil service protection similar to that afforded currently to the treasurer and assessor. Page 21 Conclusions The members of the Blue Ribbon Commission are grateful to have had the opportunity to participate in this process to envision a new governmental future for the City of Flint. None of the committee members want the city to be placed under emergency management for a third time. We believe that the city has the resources to build Flint back up to a well-managed operation, correctly sized for the 21st century. Page 22 References Edwards, D. 2011. Smarter Faster Cheaper. An Operations Efficiency Benchmarking Study of 100 American Cities. IBM Global Business Services. Hudnall, Z.L., and Lewis, P.G., 2003. Municipal Institutions and Voter Turnout in Local Elections. Urban Affairs Review, 38, 5, 645, 668. ICMA, 2014. ICMA Code of Ethics. Retrieved from http colon slash slash icma.org slash un slash icma slash ethics slash code underscore of underscore ethics. More, A, Nolan, J, and Siegel, GF, 2005. Putting out the trash. Measuring municipal service efficiency in U.S. cities. Urban Affairs Review, 41, 2, 237, 259. Nelson, K.L., and Nolenberger, K., 2011. Conflict and Cooperation in Municipalities. Do Variations in Form of Government Have an Effect? Urban Affairs Review, 47, 5, 696, 720. Nuance, H., 2013. Yolo County Uses Best Practices to Guide Long Term Planning. Government Finance Review. October, 2013. Phillips, S. 2013. Linking Resource Allocation to Performance Measurement. A Look at Chester County, Pennsylvania. Government Finance Review, August, 2013. Bizano, M., and Callahan, R.F., 2012. Case Study I. Fiscal Sustainability in Los Angeles County. National Civic Review, 101, 1, 11, 17. Page 23 Summary of Comments from Blue Ribbon Committee Public Workshops 5314 Mount Calvary Baptist Church 34 Total Attendees Ward 1 3 Ward 2 5 Ward 3 2 Individual Responses Workgroups Did Not Form. Question and Answer, Comment Period Went On For Over An Hour. They saying these pause can we make desired changes within the current charter structure? Government has not been transparent over the years. 
Council does not give accurate info during meeting. Financial manager posts information which helps. Professional civil servants must be hired to make government work. Council needs to be full-time until problems of finances are resolved for short-term, committed for the long-term. Is Flint ready for someone from the outside to run the city? Will the requirements of ICMA limit some people from serving? How long has BRC been meeting? What communities has BRC looked to for examples? Why did current charter put the things in that it did in 1974? Balkanized commissions with responsibility for their small piece no leader for business others to go to. No clear line of decision making authority. Led to strong mayor system. Are these sessions just to rubber stamp decisions already made? What was the plan to advertise engage the community? Are we open to an outside person to run our city? Could we require more rigorous qualifications for city leaders while keeping current structures? Ward 44 Ward 50 Ward 62 Ward 76 Ward 83 Ward 91 Unknown 8 Page 24 If this is so serious, why such short notice of meetings? Agree changes are needed, but who decides on these options? Just because critical of governance and we feel we should do nothing? Is this a matter of policy changes and not the structural or governance change? Will this change the entire charter? How much was spent to bring in professional advisors? Why is the focus on governance? Why not fiscal issues? So what we have? Is BRC saying can avoid financial crisis through change in governance structure alone? Can we get presentation in advance too much to take in at once? Want to ensure consistent info presented at all three meetings? In council manager or a hybrid, who appoints department heads? Issue, charter or financial MGT? Need another third meeting, this one to inform process of public input. One hour presentation, two hours for breakout sessions. Frame issue around financial management, not just structure. Can charter history be included in BRC report? Need more info, thorough handouts, data up front to prepare public participants prior to this session. Need chance to study up before giving input, email today PowerPoint. What does the BRC specifically think is wrong with the charter now? Needs to be identified and explained. Need to advertise future sessions better. Print and Flint Journal, etc. More on local TV news. What are the qualifications for ICMA members? As we outsource city services, i.e. trash collection, there is no accountability because service providers are not elected or employed directly. Issue raised about the three alternative models. As presented, only full governance change would go to public vote, not charter amendments. BRC urged to not make recommendations that further erode democracy in Flint. Page 25 Is Flint really ready for a city manager from outside? ICMA could limit pool of candidates from Flint. How does this process fit in with the master plan? How would changing form of government affect the financial practices that contributed to out problems? To what extent does the current charter have effective means to ensure capable appointments? Accountability and sound financial practices. What are qualifications for ICMA membership? Potential next step suggestions for future sessions. Post PowerPoint online maximize methods of outreach to get the word our courier, word of mouth. Make all background study documents available to all need adequate lead time to get word out plan. More time for discussion at another public session include history of charter to presentation 51014 Mott Community College Event Center 43 total attendees. Done unknown 6 Ward 1 2 Ward 2 1 Ward 3 2 Straw Poll Results Strong Mayor 3 Ward 4 2 Ward 5 8 Ward 6 3 Ward 7 13 Ward 8 4 Ward 9 2 24 of 43 participated in Straw Poll Page 26 Council Manager 5 A Hybrid 14 No Vote Minus 2 No Vote For Many Reasons Need More Info Need Measurable Comparisons No Opinion Individual Responses Improvement With The Taxes Example, street lights, water and schools in neighborhood closed for years. This is totally unfair. Neighborhoods are going down because cost of home improvements. 
too political the people elect and they causing people to caught help being broke. Who will ensure compliance with ethical issues? How can outside influences, such as unions, shadow governments, be minimized or eliminated? Can an investigative body be in place to uncover improper or illegal actions? Will there be a public, elected official who can refer the issue to the state attorney general for an opinion or violation of Act 317? Require qualifications for elected appointed officials and all department heads. Create minimum standards. Publish annual reviews of elected, appointed and department heads. Why for council elected at large? Require all department heads, elected, appointed officials to sign ethics agreement that states they will leave the position if in violation of these ethics. Make department heads a non-appointed position. Require by charter, professional persons to administer each department not political appointees can charter be amended easily to a hybrid structure. If any recommendations for charter revision go to a vote by citizens, much more needs to be done to inform citizens about city governance. This meeting was helpful primarily because of the information provided and questions answered. I think people want both effective and less political city government but more needs to be said to prove that alternatives to our current structure would be better in these ways. Also, our problems of high costs and low revenue are not addressed by structure revisions. At least, this was not explained in this meeting. How do we ensure ethical accountable behavior in city government? Page 27 How do we ensure training for council persons? How can department heads be selected apolitically and evaluated held accountable? Problems, population decline, property values, poverty, etc. Is the need for a new structure or new rules better enforcement of rules for staffing, etc.? New structure without enforcement same problems. If the structure of government is important, then how does any new structure affect financial decision making, i.e., increase general fund deficit or long-term debt? Can rules be crafted to make the choice effective regardless of the government form? Automatic financial management policy options. Balance budget revise council terms, add training and increase improve staff. Professional, objective rules for staffing, training, recruitment mandatory develop use other forms of participation to increase accountability and public input on core policy choices. Revise update role of city administrator. Professional roles, credentials violations of city charter roles result from a no little transparency in government and or b lack of civic public participation, need for city ombudsman, more investigative media coverage, under PA 436, emergency manager has authority to revise charter and has already done so, why should Flint public trust they will have control and voice on charter, called weak mayor, Put emphasis on revenue. What has been the experience of other communities with at large elected representatives? Does anyone know how South Bend, Mishawaka has managed its resurrection? Why is the emergency manager proposing that the city administrator have certain credentials? T on is that a political move? Questions from attendees. Can charter be easily amended to allow for a hybrid form of government? Analysis for different type of government effect on quality of services. What is outcome? Page 28 Are you 100% sure of premise? Correct that something structural is broken? How to incorporate ethics and administration in departments? Assure accountability in qualifications. Confidence in process. If can M do what he wants to why do process? Are ICMA recommendations political? What are other experiences with at large council people? Is it possible for a vote of city council on appointees? Is it more efficient, current strong mayor or possible to have professional city manager or be better able to get city manager under current structure? What training is provided for council? Integrate into charter? Who is going to answer these questions? Table discussions. Department heads need to be qualified. Politically appointed personnel bring concern for compliance misspent funds civil service commission competitive positions, need passionate people. 
identify appointed officials suggestion should it be appointed x use of federal funds re-election contracts to certain agencies evaluation process nor subjective by those who are not stakeholders and no position and its requirements evaluation based on job description take politics out of evaluation process no appointed department heads concern issue of equal opportunity in governance to have mandatory icma certification greg eason would not qualify is the icma requirement proposed so th position are there specific educational requirements not in the imca certification we want qualified leader and it is arbitrary to choose icma requirement e position to get flint out of financial stress larger issue is of the m undermining democracy this public input is a smoke screen page 29 issues of professionalism and accountability matter to flint residents and flint needs to make a proposal proactively that will resonate with the state the committee needs to make more time for community input for this process during the session active management of city to oversee contracts Reduce cost of government through managed contracts charter revision commission enforcement of charter by the ombudsman protect the city administrator from politics accountability for providing good services. Road sweeping repair for example. Need to increase shared services between cities, townships, villages within the county consolidation of services. Need to have department heads that are professional and carry qualifications for those jobs need to create a list of qualifications for each job need evaluations of performance could look at best practices fiscal oversight of spending needs to be looked at closely evaluation of programs and contracts i.e. recycling 5 15 14 iin and auditorium 40 total attendees ward 17 ward 20 ward 32 straw poll results Strong Mayor 7 Council Manager 5 A Hybrid 12 Ward 4 3 Ward 5 2 Ward 6 2 Ward 7 11 Ward 8 3 Ward 9 4 Unknown 6 27 of 40 participated in straw poll Page 30 No Vote 3 No Vote for Many Reasons Need More Info Need Measurable Comparisons No Opinion Individual Responses When They Sell Hurley Hospital Can We Have a Public Auction? Does Alec ICMA have a charter we could just use now? A VP to run the whole town? Fix that. No tax break without $15 minimum wage and union replace economic development funding with seed money for collectively owned enterprise. Seep Jackson, Mississippi. No rate or fee increases. Garbage. Lights. Water. If tax abatements are being given appropriate community foundation and channel it to schools. Not cultural center change the process by which department heads in the city are appointed. We need qualified individuals and not political favoritism. Use a meritocracy for promoting top positions with buy-in from all electes as well. X. A finance director with a required CPA level. A city attorney with bar qualifications. If a city manager council form of government is implemented safeguards must be made and ensure manager is allowed to do his her job without unnecessary interference. Department. Heads should not be appointed they should be hired for long as they are effective. Emphasis on creating jobs by improving public safety to attract investment. Approval of balanced budget by city council presented by mayor or city manager review of expenditures every three months of fiscal year reorganization of budget if appropriate or accountability if department heads mayor or manager responsible for creation of a detailed list of services the city needs costing out of those services creating realistic tax structure to support those services presented each year one month prior to budget presentation. Council may not enact any policy that carries a cost with it without identifying where that funding will come from. Page 31 Department heads must be civil servants, not political appointees. Budgets should be at least two year, perhaps three year. Annual budgets are too short term to allow for planning. Idea of training, basic training for political officials makes sense. Citywide election of city council if we are to be a complete and whole city get the council people represent the entire city and be elected by whole city. 
prefer council manager structure need to do something. Professional administration how to vet before the council decision in a hybrid. Council members ongoing learning system and priority and not in isolation for the work every ward elected primary citywide election mayor elected citywide but serves as pre's of council. Trust and transparency no more secret committees courage move to a hybrid form city manager protected from political firing. Quality Servic restored. Ensure all employees department heads are qualified. The hybrid form is best. 1. It ensures expertise in management. 2. Control through councillors elected by ward. 3. Policy leadership through a mayor elected at large. Maybe we need more wards, with councillors paid less election? Maybe it is legal. A professional city manager who runs the day-to-day -day mayor, council holds city manager accountable accountability by all page 32 budget posted basically how are we going to save Flint? Not enough participants people not truthful should be filming for all to see and hear they. The plan group talk and do not care to listen and have exhausted us with no action meeting for years now. Strong mayor as it is now, not walling, elected by city residents M is demonstrating bullying three minutes to speak at end of council meeting, taking Mr. May's garage privilege. Is not about a better city budget. Flint is under control of a Republican govern me no end to this group's tentacles in our city. Holding these sessions only a few to show up for whatever reason total you have talked to only a city forum. I believe there is an underlying secret plan to remove African American people who live in the north end of Flint. With the cuts in police, and the presence of state troopers, there is a harassment situation of young black men, which will mean a result in a martial law for the north end of Flint. This will be a start of a plan to remove black citizens. This is also a movement to take over the land and to make us think we wanted whatever government enforced on us. As I look back a few years ago, this plan has been a step-by-step -step process. Property value drop, taxes increase, who can afford to pay for water, low-income jobs. Questions from attendees. Chart under the hybrid structure, would the mayor serve concurrently as a ward representative? If so, how would the popular election of the mayor occur? Would a prospective candidate have to run simultaneously for both positions? How does the can everyone who is on the Blue Ribbon Committee introduce themselves and stand up? Page 33 Will the Blue Ribbon Committee ask him for his assurance that any citizen initiated petition to alter a charter via ballot initiative be honored? If a strong city administrator is put in place, what balance would be in place to make sure they are not above reproach but also not in constant jeopardy of being fired by council for unpopular decisions? Can we require community benefits agreements for any organizations that are given tax abatements and incentives so that their workers are paid a wage that may offset the breaks we are giving them? D. To have the meeting closed to the public. Why are you inviting the public into the process now? Is this rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic? How do we prevent our local government from hiking water rates on poor neighborhoods while giving tax breaks to corporations? How do we ensure owed revenue sharing is received? Five out of nine years overspent and in the last two the majority of our assets have been sold off. What are we to do to be independent? Was any research conducted by the committee to understand if certain models work better in certain cities like Flint faced with similar economic challenges? Would there be an advantage to requiring a supermajority to remove a city manager? Would it make sense to require city councillors to undergo training in governance and city finances to be eligible to run for re-election? Under that plan can the M sell the city lawn equipment and snow equipment? Under the plan we they be able to give family or friends contracts without bids? What thought has been given to electing council members who are educated and trained in proper governance fundamentals such as financial statements, government systems, effective management, etc. Our council is elected this year, could a manager serve pa how do you enact democratic reform when a majority of the population chooses not to participate? 
What is the rubric being utilized to determine if anything is one, part of the city governance and two, has value for the city? Page 34 How many members are there on the committee? How many live in Flint? How many live outside of Flint? Group table discussions, accountable for their actions. How do we become independent, where we can demand what belongs to us? We have no assets. The M has more than doubled the city of Flint deficit. Need to ask the right questions. Creative approaches. Tax breaks to support collectively owned enterprise. What about regional government solutions to city finances like alternative ways to raise revenue through water pipelines? It is not so much the structure of government that having an informed citizenry. How to educate the citizenry to make an informed decision on things like what council members should do to get good elected officials and be able to hold officials accountable in their jobs. Seems like a disproportionate amount of energy is being given to the issue of governance without dealing with other important issues like city finances, water bills etc. Isolate city department from politics revamp of job descriptions W accountability factored into that. Department heads should not be appointed sub-level change also needs to occur. What the city does should be based on what the city needs. Whatever we do. It needs to be a check and balance on the money. A system that is transparent to all. The more accountability for system have city vote on at large, altogether citywide creates community division. People should talk and listen trust in the community division between citizens and policy maker. Truthful dialogue page 35 city manager has continuity, balance, someone with financial background, not a yes man. Received following the 5-15-14 workshop, a governance model for the city of Flint. The current governance structure of the city of Flint at best results in incompetent management T fosters graft and corruption. As it is now presently, the mayor and council have too much individual power and are not required to possess the skills to set policies that would provide the proper checks and balances necessary for effective management of the city. There appears to be little accountability and very few consequences for any that use their authority inappropriately. Are obligated to their supporters to provide jobs or favors to them in exchange for their support. Because of this, city employees feel obliged to provide information that may not be accurate but what the elected officials want to hear to keep from having to make the tough decisions that might make re-election precarious. This has resulted in spending far exceeding income in five of the last nine years. Properly setting budgets and holding employees accountable to operating within those budgets is an elected oh, a radical change is necessary. Fortunately, we do not need to reinvent the wheel to find a governance model to use as a pattern. The non-profit model There are thousands of non-profit corporations many who manage budgets as large as or larger than the budget of the city of Flint. Many have as many employees and deal with unions like the city of Flint. Most provide member services similar to the constituent services provided by the city. Some even provide services for municipalities. Anon Tours, who elect a set of officers and provide representative governance for the non-government. Constituents elect a city council and mayor who provide representation for the profit corporations also hire a chief staff officer, CSO, and staff to do the work of the non-profit corporation leaving a board of directors and officers to focus on their fiduciary responsibilities, policy decisions and mission of the organization. Most of these non-profit organizations have a relatively large board of directors 25 to 50 members is not uncommon. This ensures that there is broad representation of the members of the non-profit corporation. These boards set policies and approve and monitor budgets. They are usually elected according to a rotating system where only a portion of the board is elected each year allowing for continuity. The CSO is responsible for day-to-day -day management and supervision of staff to page 36 execute the mission of the non-profit following policies and budgets set by the board of directors. Operating with a large number of elected representatives is not that uncommon in state and federal government. 
the Michigan House of Representatives and Senate or the U.S. House of Representatives and Senate each have more than 100 elected representatives. Proposed governance concept for the city of Flint It is proposed that the city of Flint restructure its governance following the non-profit template. City Council City Council would consist of 36 members, 3 elected from each ward and 9 elected at large, each serving a four-year term. Each year, one council member would be elected from each ward representing the ward and elected by the eligible voters in the ward. On the fourth year, all of the at-large council members would be elected by all of the eligible voters in the city. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Mayor council members would serve without compensation like the Bishop International Zoning Appeals. Council would meet at least monthly. Council would hire a city administrator. Council sets policy, enacts ordinances and approves budget prepared by the city administrator. Council exercises its fiduciary responsibilities through the city administrator and the budget approval process. Council members are strictly involved with policy and are prohibited from any management activity. At the first meeting of the council each year, the mayor would be elected by the city council following the swearing-in of the new council members. 1. 2. Mayor would serve as the presiding officer at all meetings of the council. Strictly mayor would not be actively involved in the discussion of matters before the council but would focus on chairing the meetings. Because the mayor is focused on managing the P-394, page 37-3. Mayor would be the ceremonial leader of the city mayor pro tem at the first meeting of the council each year, the council would elect a mayor pro tem, following the swearing in of the new council members. 1. Mayor pro tem would chair meetings of the council in the absence of the mayor or should the mayor relinquish the chair to enter into the discussion of a mayor before the council. 2. Assist the mayor. City administrator 1. 2. 3. 4. 5. The council shall hire the city administrator. City administrator is responsible of day-to-day -day operation of the city. Hires all department heads according to hiring policies developed by the city council. Prepares all budgets for approval by the council. Develops an internet and telephone IVR constituent services platform. Improving the efficiency of delivering constituent services. Reliving city council members from the current practice of constituent services. Finance committee. This is the most important committee of the council. At the first meeting of the council each year, the mayor would appoint the chair, three additional members from the council and three eligible voters from the city. The finance committee would work very closely with the city administrator's chief financial officer to develop a budget for council approval and monitoring procedures to ensure the compliance with the approved budget. Chief financial officer 1 is a CPA employed by and reporting to the city administrator. 2 works with but is independent of the finance committee. 3 provides monthly or more often as required by the finance committee reports for, recommends to the Finance Committee procedures necessary to ensure compliance with the budget and openness of the accounting procedures. Other Council Committees Page 38 Approval The Chairs of All Standing Committees. Similarly the Mayor would select all committee members. City Clerk 1, 2, 3, is employed by and reports to the City Administrator. Handles all election and reporting activities as required. Provides a deputy clerk to take minutes at all council and council committee meetings. Boards and commissions the provisions of the city charter would determine the selection of the members of boards and commissions. All would be volunteers and unpaid because of the large number of council members. Orderliness of council meetings is of prime importance. All meetings of the city council and all committee and commission meetings shall ID. 1. 2. 3 of the majority of the minority, especially a strong minority greater than one-third, of individual members of absentees, and of all of these together council members should be versed and assist the mayor in the conduct of the meetings, ensuring a thorough deliberation that results in a decision that all can support. Mayor and mayor pro tem could appoint a parliamentarian to assist with the orderly conduct of the meeting. We must select individuals 
to serve our city, who understand that whether elected, appointed or an employee, they are public servants, to the city of Flint, in every respect of the word. They are there to serve the residents of the city. Having unpaid council members helps identify individuals who want to serve our community as public servants and are not looking for an income from the city. Without a financial incentive, the desire to serve should be the most compelling reason to stand for election as a city council member. By being a policy-making page 39 organization only, the temptation for graft and other corruptive practices is minimized. It would be expected that council members would be involved in the community through their jobs, neighborhood groups and civic organizations bringing perspectives gained from their community involvement to the council. These public servants generally are very busy with their other civic and work obligations and once the city council is up and running efficiently, time requirements for public service as a city council member could be reduced to one council meeting and one committee meeting each month. Next steps obviously this is only an outline and requires considerable flesh to be added to the skeleton. Existing committees and commissions need to be reviewed as well as other existing operating policies. Adopting technology to streamline constituent services and management of city functions. Operating a city like a large nonprofit corporation must be considered as a viable option to the government models that have been reviewed. I would be pleased to assist the Blue Ribbon Committee or a Charter Commission with this work. Jerry Preston, page 40, level of action necessary for revisions. Hybrid plan. Change to council manager form change number and boundaries of ward change mayor president of council, popularly elected city manager qualifications city administrator qualifications department head qualifications appointees limited number appointees qualifications ombudsman removed from charter multi-year budget and charter revision committee charter amendment charter revision committee charter revision committee charter amendment charter amendment charter amendment charter amendment ordinance page 41.